All right, folks, hello and welcome to this Desmos tutorial. In this video, we'll look at oscillating motion and how to make things move back and forth around in a circle and move two things on the same slider. So here I've imported a picture of Jimmy Neutron, boy genius, an old-fashioned cartoon figure, and a chopper. Uh, here it is. I can shrink it or enlarge it. Uh, but let's just say we have the goal of having Jimmy jumping up and down here at the same time that this chopper is hovering up here. That's going to be our goal, and we're going to see how to do that with just one slider and rigging the coordinates. Um, notice, yeah, you might think of a function to include here, something like x equals 1 or x equals negative 3 as a line that Jimmy can up, jump up and down along, uh, but you don't even need it because the slider alone will take care of it. So, so as soon as I put some parameter c, let's say, constant function in there, and add that slider, uh, Jimmy will start moving up and down along C, because C is the Y coordinate, and I've allowed that to vary. Um, but if I want him to jump, you know, just in this narrow range, you might think, oh, well, I can change the coordinates of C, and yes, you can do that, um, but what I want to show you here is that you can make any, uh, you can make any oscillation using oscillating functions, or as we learned, sine and cosine, which oscillate, they go back and forth, they repeat. So instead of using a C here, if I want Jimmy to jump up and down in a narrow range, not go all the way up and down with our slider, I can use the idea of a sine or a cosine function. So I'll try sine of C. Let's see what that does for us. Okay, as you can see, Jimmy's taking some more normal jumps here. Uh, but let's say I want him to jump really off the x-axis. I want it to look like he's jumping off of the x-axis. So we would, what do we do? Well, we can increase the amplitude of that sine function. Or, I'm sorry, we could do a vertical shift of that sine function. We could do plus 3. Okay, and if you're not satisfied with that, you could do plus 4. But you control the shifts, and you can work with what you want. So now we have Jimmy jumping up and down. You can try cosine 2, see what kind of shape that gives you. Next, we want to make this helicopter kind of hover. Uh, and we could, you know, we could do a circle. You might be thinking maybe something like x minus 5 squared plus uh, y minus 5. Something like that. Maybe you're thinking the hovercraft can go around there. Um, but we want it to be an ellipse, so we would have to divide, you know, to make it more ellipsy. Something like so. Uh, unfortunately, this red thing that I've plotted here is not a function, and Desmos is not going to let you use it as f of x or f of c or anything like that. So you're not going to be able to use that technique. So fortunately, that's gone. Uh, but what you can do is rig the coordinates of this helicopter so that it moves in a circle. In other words, you might remember that a circle is cosine c, comma, sine c, namely the unit circle. And by playing this motion, the chopper will move along the unit circle. Uh, and we can shift it however we'd like. So if we want a horizontal shift, you know, minus 10, pretty good. Now, um, we'll have a chopper moving around in a unit circle up there. There it is. But we want this to, say, look more like a hovering motion. And perhaps you want him to go in the other direction. You can always slow it down if you're unsatisfied with the speed, you can slow it down. If you want to make one move faster, okay, I slowed down Jimmy, but I want Jimmy to speed up. Even as the chopper's floating slower, I can uh, increase the period value there. and It'll jump up and down. So next up, if we want to create this motion and make it more ellipsy, okay, so continuing back here, I made some adjustments to our picture. If you'll notice, I've created a sine function and cosine function, uh, we have a horizontal shift over 5 and then up 15, over 5 and up 15, and I just changed the amplitude here to 3, which will allow it to move in a uh, larger circle. So there's the helicopter hovering in a larger circle. Uh, but originally our goal was to make it a more ellipsy motion, something like this. So to figure out how to make this like an ellipse, think of which coordinates you want to affect. You want the x coordinates to stay the same width or get wider maybe something like 4 in the front, but then you want the y coordinates not to go as high. Uh, so you want this to be more shallow, so we'll make it like a 0.5. And by changing that accordingly, 
you know, just picture it on the screen. If the if the x values go this wide and the y coordinates only go up in here, then you're going to form that ellipsy motion. And that should be what we want. So let's take a look. Okay, and that's the type of ellipsy motion you get with your chopper hovering. If you want him to go slower as Jimmy jumps, slow down the period. Put a 0.5 where the period goes. We got to remember those transformations of functions. Okay, very important. Uh, to use this type of motion as you try to do more complex things with your screens. Okay, so I hope this Desmos tutorial was helpful for you, and thanks for watching this video example.